Hello everybody and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Today we have part three of pulse listening and I would like to share with you how we can hold, well, how we can feel the depths in the pulse and the depths are cycles of energy as the energy spirals from the skin surface to the core it goes through different layers so it cycles one cycle depth one skin surface cycle depth two deep skin then a cycle depth three the blood cycle depth four muscle and then one more cycle depth five the skeletal so you see how all these depths have a function and they're a cycle of energy to put it simply and we can feel them in the pulse so what it tells us is which organ flows we can do which safety energy location flows we can do there's a lot of things we can learn from finding which depth is in need so here we go let's just practice again uh, holding listening to our pulse how we hold the wrist and we're gonna use these three fingers and we're gonna place them right on the bone right here on the little wrist bone you're gonna slide off it and then bring it back up against it so the bone slide off and then move back against it like this so we're gonna listen to what this finger feels superficial and deep what this finger feels superficial and deep and what this finger feels so here we go so with my right index finger superficial and deep i feel depth five so a quick hold what we can do when we feel depth five is holding the little finger so to make it very easy i'm going to tie it to which finger you can hold and you can play with this i mean if you feel a predominant depth then hold the finger related to it and see if it will clear and if not go and find another finger that will resolve it and that gives you more information so again my right finger will listen to depth five so it's on it's going to be on my left pulse okay or on your clients left pulse but it's it's your right finger is going to feel depth five the middle finger is going to feel depth three and the ring finger is going to feel depth four so let me just show it to you like this this one is going to feel depth five this one is going to feel depth three and this one is going to feel depth four okay so five three four and so we can put any project in a depth and when we feel uh, depth five we can hold the little finger when we feel depth three we can hold the middle finger and when we feel depth four we can hold the index finger okay so i hope this is not uh, confusing i'm really doing my best to present this in an easy way and so just to review one more time depth five depth five holding the little finger depth three holding the middle finger and depth four holding the index finger okay so if you have a client and you feel one of these depths really talking then just go to the finger and see if if the energy will change and you can go back to the pulse and check that out so now with the other hand because that's going to be another three different depths because as you know we have six depths that we're working with and so we have one two and three we have the little bone here we slide off it and move back in against it so last times we were feeling for superficial and deep but now it's the whole finger that's going to feel the depth both superficial and deep so with the index finger with my left finger on my own right pulse or on your client you're going to be on the right hand with your left finger i'm going to feel depth too and when I feel depth two, I can hold the ring finger as a quick hold. 
with the middle finger I'm gonna feel depth one so for a quick hold I can hold the thumb and then the ring finger I'm gonna feel depth six so I can hold the palm of my hand so that's a quick hold to resolve it so let's review one more time so I'm gonna place these fingers right here in the little bone slide off it and move back against it placing the three fingers together and with this finger I'm feeling depth two and for a quick hold you can hold the ring finger the middle finger I'm gonna feel depth one and a quick hold you can hold your thumb or your client's thumb and then with the ring finger I'm gonna feel depth six and you can hold the palm of the hand so if this is enough for you then I'm inviting you to sign off and what I would like to do, if you don't have enough, I'm going to give a tiny little review of what we've been doing so far in listening to the pulses. So what we felt is superficial and deep. Superficial and deep. Superficial has to do with the exhale and deep has to do with the inhale. And what, another thing that we listened to was chest line, waist line. And hip line on the front of the body and chest line waistline and hip line on the back of the body so on the superficial pulse we feel 13 SEL 13 14 and 15 and deep we feel 10 9 and 2 okay and then today and that's the same for the other side as well and today we felt for each individual depth so again with my right hand, I'm going to feel depth 5, depth 3, and depth 4. And then with my left hand, I'm going to feel depth 2, depth 1, and depth 6. So I hope that um, you enjoyed this. And, you know, this really takes some practicing. This is really probably the hardest part of uh, Jinshan, the art of Jinshan is listening to the pulse. So I'm inviting you to always listen to the pulse and just listen for the right or the left side, which side is in need, right and left. Just start practicing and then you can build upon it. You can only listen to the depths or only listen to the safety energy locations. Slowly start to build the concept one after the other. So I hope you enjoyed this and of course we're always here if you have any questions and thank you so much. Have fun with the pulses. <laughs>